Oh, hey neighbor. Thanks for coming by. My name's Andrew. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a key lime pie, a Watergate salad, and my very own special cocktail. In celebration of Mount Baker Vapor's new guar flavors. So come on in and let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started and put everything together to make one delicious pie. We're gonna take our three quarter cup of lime juice and just pour it in nice and gently into our mixer. Next, we have our zest, one tablespoon. Just tap it right in. This is three cups of condensed sweetened milk. And just pour that in. It's a little goopy, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have your spatula ready to get all that goodness off this bowl. And finally, we have half a cup of sour cream. It's always fun when you add your own sound effects. And now that we have all our ingredients in, we're going to set and lock our mixer. And then we're going to start off on slow. We want to get everything kind of mixed together nice and neat. And then we'll kick it up a speed now that it's all blended. And we're just going to let this go for about one to two minutes. Today, I have a pre-made crust, but you can do it at home, no problem. Just a little graham crackers and butter and you're set. Oh yeah. Look at how nice and smooth that came out. Now that we have it all smooth and nice and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our oven at 350 degrees for eight minutes. Now I set a timer for four minutes so I can check and rotate it and then put it in for another four to finish it up. Let's go ahead and start our timer and move on to our next ingredient, or our next product. Welcome back, friends! Now that our pie is in the oven and baking, let's go ahead and move on to our Watergate salad. What we're going to need for Watergate salad is pistachio flavored instant pudding. Go ahead and dump that in your bigger bowl. Next, we'll add some chopped pecans. All you'll need is half a cup. Our next ingredient is one cup of tiny little marshmallows. You can save one for yourself. Mm. Next, what you wanna do is get a 20 ounce can of pineapples, chopped. And you wanna save the juice for this. So go ahead and dump in all your pineapple juice. Now, we're gonna stir that all together, get it mixed in there. We gotta get that pistachio pudding all nice and neat. And look how fun, it turns green. That's our timer, friends. Let's check on our pie. That's looking good so far. Make sure you have your oven mitts because it gets hot. And we'll pull it out about halfway. And then just give it a 180 degree rotate. Beautiful. Let's get back to that Watergate salad now. Now that we have that all mixed together, what we're going to need to do is take about one and a half cups of thawed, very important this thawed, Cool Whip. Whip. All right. Now look at that pie. That is delicious. Oh. But I accidentally squished it a little bit. That's okay, it'll still taste yummy. It's a happy mistake. Oh hey friends! Now I'm gonna show you how to make a very special summertime or springtime drink, depending on your preference. This crazy looking thing is called a dragon fruit. What we're gonna do is take our knives, and you're just going to cut that guy right in half. All we're gonna need for this recipe is just half. So get yourself a spoon and just get in there and scoop it out. Kind of like an avocado. Once we have that, let's just go ahead and chop it up into about quarters. Turn. And then you're gonna make about bite-sized chunks. So just rough chop it. Once we have all that, we can go ahead and drop it into our blender. So we're gonna take some oranges, and 
we're going to chop them into eighths, rind and all. But we are going to remove the little, little butt pieces. Yeah. We'll go ahead and dump that into our blender. And we are going to add about a quarter of a cup of fine grain sugar. And our final ingredient is going to be a club soda, or in my case, I prefer tonic water. So I'm gonna grab those chilled from the fridge. Now that we have our nice chill tonic water, we're going to get four cups. Let's get your measuring cup out. And slowly pour it in. It's gonna fizz, but that's all right. This is gonna get a little bit loud, but what I'm gonna do is turn it on and then I'm gonna pulse it to just get everything blended. I'm looking for a nice puree. That looks and smells delicious. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our strainer you're going to want to put it over top of a glass pitcher that you might have. And we're just going to strain it in. We don't want any excess, like, weird bits of the orange left in there. So that's why we're doing this part. So let's just strain that in there. It's kind of fun. Next, what I want you to do is go ahead and get yourself a tumbler. We're going to fill this guy with ice. Now you want to get it about half full. And we're going to add our liquid in. Now that we have that on there, let's go ahead and seal it up and start giving it a nice shake. Once you start feeling the tumblers start to chill on the outside and get frosty, you know you're ready to go. Doesn't that look delicious? And refreshing. Well, welcome back, friends. We finally made it. We're here. We have our key lime pie. We have our delicious Antarctic ice drink and our Watergate salad. I hope you guys had as much fun baking as I did. I'm so happy I got to share this opportunity with you guys. Thanks for stopping by and come back anytime. Mount Baker Vapor, it's the best.